The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier Fisk unit Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen, hit that sub button. You understand me? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. We are on the road to 6K. I need six thousand fisk unit soldiers the mob into the 2022 season with hit that button let's squad up before week one all right with that being said mahomes what up you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be honest with you i still hate the chiefs i can't stand the chiefs those of y'all who rock with me on my general fist vegas channel you know i got nothing but heat and tough talk for everybody in Chiefs Kingdom, I'm so sick and tired of Chiefs fans with their cockiness, their arrogance, and their flat-out unwillingness to admit that they can be touched. This team thinks that they can't lose, or we're going to win seven championships, we're the next dynasty, we got the greatest quarterback that ever lived. Shut up! Y'all got one ring, and if Kyle Shanahan wasn't an habitual choker, you wouldn't even have that. I can't stand Chiefs fans. I ain't forget about what you did to Daniel Jones last year when you tied his shoelaces together on your, on your schedule of release program. We ain't forget about that. Giants fans have not forgotten. And we should have beat y'all on Monday Night Football, but we had Joe Judge as a head coach, and he blew all our timeouts and didn't give Daniel Jones a chance to win. All right, we should have beat you on Monday Night Football. But anyway, I digress from all that foul shit. And by the way, if you really want to know how I feel about Chiefs fans, um, go check out my fire range when they lost to the, uh, the Bengals. One of my greatest fire ranges of all time. I had to get on his wife. I got on his suck ass little brother who, who does all these stupid TikToks. He still should be shot for TikTok dancing on, 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 on Sean Taylor's number on, on his retirement day. They, they retired that man jersey and you got Jackson Mahomes TikTok dancing on the number 21. It's so disrespectful. And now he got Juju there too. Him and Juju gonna be TikTok. Ugh. Joe Burrow did the world a justice by beating the, 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 the Chiefs in the title game. Can you imagine the TikTok dances that we would have had to sit through with Jackson Mahomes? And then you got Brittany Mahomes throwing champagne all over people in the crowd. And they got the balls to go on Twitter and say only winners understand. If you're a loser, that's why you're complaining about having champagne on you because you're not used to it. Like, shut up. Shut up. I don't even like Patrick Mahomes. I just hate the shit that's around Patrick Mahomes. Why couldn't you, you go? Why could you be a a Viking or something like that? <sighs> but anyway, that's my rant for the day. Now let's get to the message. Okay, today's message is about Patrick Mahomes giving the game to Daniel Jones. All right, that's about him. Now, Davis Webb has been in contact with Patrick Mahomes. They both went to Texas Tech. They're great friends. And in the process of him FaceTiming Mahomes, he FaceTimed Daniel Jones and Tyrod Taylor. But they don't matter. The only one that matters is Daniel Jones. We don't care about David Sweat. We don't care about Tyrod Taylor. We care about Daniel Jones soaking up game from Patrick Mahomes. So Patrick Mahomes, as always, is familiar and loves Matt Kafka. Mike Kafka is the pass game coordinator for the Chiefs, which means he designs all their pass plays. So all that crazy shit Mahomes be doing, all them bombs, all those little motions behind the field to Tariq Hill and all that stuff, Mike Kafka designed that. Those are Mike Kafka plays. So now you got Patrick Mahomes giving Daniel Jones the jewels, giving him the game, letting him know how to execute the offense the right way. This is great. I mean, can this offseason get any better? I mean, for real, it's like every time I turn around, it's something positive about the Giants. And I'm loving it. You got Brian Dable and Joe Shane at the damn Ranger game getting everybody hyped. You know, 
I, I gotta digress for a second. It. We loved Joe Judge for a year. We did. You you couldn't tell Giants fans nothing about Joe Judge. We bought into the laps. We bought into the to the hellfire brimstone speeches and the, the discipline, the toughness. We bought into that. We did. No Giants fan can lie to you and say they didn't buy into Joe Judge for the first year. The Brian Dable energy is different. The Brian Dable Joe Shane energy is so different. It's so fun. It's so calm. It's so relaxed. It's I can't explain it, but it's mad. It's 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 swagged out. It's cool. I I never thought I'd associate cool and swagged out with the Giants. Like nobody's complaining about Kadarius Tony doing rap videos. Notice that, right? Notice Kadario till he he dropped the rap video. The coaching staff ain't bitching about it or nothing. No leak stories. Daniel Jones doing his thing. I mean, we don't have no, you know, Kayvon Thibodeau, he doing his thing. I just feel like you got Saquon Barkley and, and, and um my man Odell playing uh whatever the fuck they was playing on camera the other day. The Giants seem fun. I mean, we do, we just seem fun. Between drafting Kayvon and just letting our players be the personalities that they are. I feel like we just seem fun. It's a good vibe around the Giants. And now we got Patrick Mahomes reaching out to Daniel Jones. It's just a good vibe. Would Joe Judge and he had even allowed that shit? <clears throat> I mean, for real, would Joe Judge and Jason Garrett had even allowed that? I mean, it's uptight and, you know, they thought they created football. Would they even allow Daniel Jones to be too mentored by Patrick Mahomes? I mean, it's just... I'm just happy, man. I mean, that now, of course, if it was a Patriot player, the Patriot will not show you would have. But, you know, it's just like, I like it. And I think Daniel Jones is, is going to soak up game for Mahomes. And this offense is going to be amazing. It's going to be a mixture of the Bills. And it's going to be a mixture of the Chiefs. Translation, we're going to see a lot of bombs, a lot of motion bullshit to to, to to Tony and Wandale Robinson and most importantly we're going to see a lot of QB runs in a nutshell all right in a nutshell we're basically going to get the bombs from Kansas City the QB runs from Buffalo and all those motion plays that you saw Tyreek Hill run you'll see a lot of that to Kadarius Tony and Wandale Robinson it's going to be lit it's going to be lit and if there's one thing we know about Kansas City, and if there's one thing we know about Buffalo, they like the tight end. They love the tight end. So Bellinger, Ricky Seals Jones, just saying. I'm just saying. Now that Evan Ingram of us up out of here, we got tight ends that can catch. All right? And Buffalo, Knox was a huge red zone threat. Kansas City, Travis Kelsey was a huge red zone threat. You know, just, just throwing it out there, whether it's Zach Ertz, LJ Smith going back to the McNabb era, Travis Kelsey in Kansas City, the the Andy Reid offense has always featured the tight end. This Bellinger guy who we drafted, look out, look out, just throwing it out there. Mahomes, I'm just throwing it out there. Remember, Daniel Jones loves throwing to his tight end. He stopped throwing the Evan Ankle Punk ass because he couldn't fucking catch. But he get didn't Evan Ingram get like a hundred something targets in two thousand in the, the, the pandemic year? He got like a hundred and some targets. Caden Smith was balling Daniel Jones rookie year. Daniel Jones actually enjoys throwing to the tight end. And I'm gonna drop a gem on y'all before I end this video. Shh, shh, don't tell nobody. It's just us. It's just me and the Fisk Unit soldier that's watching this video right now. Don't tell nobody this. Pat Shermer's from the Andy Reid tree. Shh, don't tell nobody. But Pat Shermer is from the Andy Reid tree. Matt Kafka is from the Andy Reid tree. When did Daniel Jones have all his success? Under Pat Shermer, which is an extension of the Andy Reid tree. Shh, don't tell nobody because everybody hates Daniel Jones. They, they, they want this, this this bum out of Kentucky 
who's being mocked at the Giants. And I will be cursing out beat reporters real soon over that dumb shit. But remember, you heard it here first. You just heard it from Fist Vegas first. Just, just remember that. Remember that. Just remember. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.